Hey guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. When I heard this story, I couldn't believe it. Supposedly, in Houston, Texas, this is where I'm at. This occurred on Friday the 13th. So this past weekend, supposedly, a... Serial violent offender by the name of Aubrey Taylor, 43 years old, was freed off of charges, which I'll get into later on, on a $1 bond. I swear to God, a $1 bond. They let this man go. And the reason why he was let go is the circuit court judge that was in charge of the case, when he went before the judge, he was opposed to the law. And he wanted to pro of a certain specific law, and he pro in, in protest he gave him one dollar bail on a law, and the law was supposed to be where it restricts violent offenders from getting a personal reconnaissance, I mean recognizance bond. So because he didn't agree with that, he said, you know what? We'll get his due. Give me a dollar, I'll let you out. And he did. Now, even though the prosecutor has said he shouldn't be let out on any bond, if anything, the bond should be high, I'll leave the link to the uh, story in the description box below. I think it said $45,000 bond they wanted to release him on. That was the high bond. If not $45,000, they wanted him to have no bond. But the judge didn't see it that way. Let this nigga out. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This is what he was charged with. Now, before we get into what he was charged with, let it be known that the man had eight other uh, priors that he was com convicted priors. So he'd been arrested eight times, right? Felonies, eight felonies he committed. But this time, this is what he supposedly did. This dude right here, Aubrey Taylor, 43-year-old man, supposedly took a woman, held her hostage for, what was it? days, beat her and choked her repeatedly, all this in his car. My thing is this, how do you go to the bathroom? How does she go to the bathroom? How'd they eat? I ain't never seen nobody so consumed in whipping ass in all my life to where they put all bodily function to the side to antagonize somebody. Either this, he hated this chick or he liked her. Nowadays, you don't know with men. You know what I mean? They like you, they kill you. Go figure. But this dude right here, if you take a look at him, he looked like one of them yep niggas. And if you don't know what I mean when I say yep niggas, whatever, he, the way he looked, the way his face looked, he looked like his crime. So if you say to him, somebody say, whatever they say, you see his face, you be like, yep, he did it. They be like, yo, this dude right here, you believe this dude right here? He kidnapped a, uh, a person and ate the ass for three days. You look at the picture, yup, he did it. He did such and such, murdered a whole family of people or whatever. Yeah, I can see that. He ran into place to get Rogaine. They wouldn't give it to him because he didn't have a prescription and he killed the doctor. Yeah, he definitely did that. Man, it is what it is, but listen, bottom line is this. All jokes aside, imagine he just got locked up for this. And they let him out on a dollar bond. Imagine the victim. You think he gonna go see the victim? What if she watching a news article that I saw earlier today and know that this dude is out? This judge right here, uh, 232nd Circuit Court Judge, what's his name? Josh Hill. Now all of a sudden he wanted to be, he, he been, you know, he a, criminal, he a criminal judge, so he didn't send people away. And all of a sudden he want to defend the law. Man, listen, he better hope nothing happened to this girl. In the story, you guys see it when you look at the video and you click the link. The news people went to his house, knocked on the door. He answered the door. He's a big dude. You know, looking at his pictures, I mean, you can see he got some size on him. I didn't know he was as tall. And then the guy answered the door. He looked like he was high and stumbled him over his words. He over six foot easy. Can you imagine that girl watching the show and then see that man out? 
She got to be on pins and needles. She ain't even psychologically over the trauma that this man put on her. Think about it. You imagine this? Look. She's sitting in the house. It's a knock on the door. She think he locked up. She opened the door. It'd be him standing there looking like that. Bitch. Now all of a sudden she in the car again. Can't piss or shit. Getting beat up again. Nightmare all over again. Listen, man. And I ain't making fun of the situation. This judge know he was wrong. My thing is this, too. We have all these community activists protesting the dude that ran in there and got killed trying to rob the Mexican joint. Let's see if we see somebody uh, protest this. See if this is not a protestable offense. This man beat a woman up for days in a car, held her hostage. These are major charges worthy of prison sentence. Let's see what happens with this. But anyway, guys, man, leave me a comment. It's a crazy story. Can't believe it. You know, and I'm not saying anybody deserves to be in jail, but sometimes some niggas deserve to be in jail. We need to keep it real. Some people need to be locked up. A lot of us don't want to admit that, but it is what it is. Now, I'm only clowning on dude the way he looked, but I mean, honestly, man, damn. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm Stockton Mark Steve, as always. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of the story. I ain't never had no uh, dollar bond. I'd have fainted when he told me I got had a dollar bond. I think it was a trick. And they took the cuffs off and let me out. I'd have probably stood by the door for a couple of minutes thinking they, they were trying to get me for an escape charge. But anyway, man, listen, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I tried to do a video a different way. You guys gave me some uh, pointers on how to set this up. Tell me if you like it. Or we go back to the old way. But anyway, I appreciate you spending the time with me. This nigga got off easy. You know, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.